Okay, now we're coming to the endoscopy situation, and before I start, I will say how we are prepared. We have an FFP3 mask, but you can also use an FFP2 if you don't have a 3 mask. Then we have the eye protection, and we have a visor. We have our hair covered, and a single-use gown. We also have two pairs of gloves. This is the under the lower one this is a snug fit glove and the upper one is one that I will take off after I numb the nose. We have also prepared that's very important non-alcoholic wipes. There's a special technique how to wipe off the secretions. Don't ever do that forcefully with the endoscope but only wipe off the secretions so that you decontaminate, let's say, the gross secretions and infectious material before you hand over the endoscope to your assistant. The assistant, we always need an assistant. The plan is that the assistant stays non-infected so he or she can handle all the machines and give me the endoscope, take the endoscope. Sometimes it happens that the assistant is contaminated and that's why they also should have two pairs of gloves and the one, the blue one and the yellow one. So let's start with the endoscopy. First, I asked the patient to take down the mask from the nose but cover the mouth. As you can see here, then we take the numbing agent. I will hold a tissue on the mask so that the mask is not all the way soaked. And as soon as I go in here, as you can see, the left hand is contaminated. Then I will squirt in 1 cc. I will not do that in this case because this is just for demonstration purposes. I will go very close in and then squirt in while the patient is inhaling and I ask the patient, inhale please. And then I squirt in, ask the patient to swallow and then I go to the other side and take the rest and inhale, then squirt and then the patient has the numbing agent in the nose and I will ask the patient please put the mask on for a couple of seconds. Okay, then I will throw this off and my both hands now are contaminated which means I get rid of both and then take this glove take it off clean take it over here, take it off and throw it away without touching anything. Now they're supposed to be clean, my gloves. Now I take the endoscope from the assistant. We're all not contaminated, so up to now this is a clean situation, but in a second I will contaminate my left hand again, keeping the right hand as clean as possible, of course. Can you please put down? Yes, and cover the mouth. And then I'll have a look on the one side. Have a look on the other side. Which one I would prefer and then I do the procedure. I will not show how to do the procedure because from now on this is a normal regular endoscopy. After I take the endoscope out after the procedure then I have a situation that this part here is covered with secretions. Then I take with my contaminated left hand, the endoscope, and I clean it like this, very softly, gentle. Throw the first one away, and I have the feeling that if I take a second one, 
and even go over this end piece again like this softly also including the tip getting rid of that this is not the whole cleaning procedure but this is the let's say gross decontamination and now I have to hand this over in a way that it is put to the cleaning process so uh, can we see that here I'll put it into here to this bag and then the assistant is taking the endoscope and putting it into a big bin over here as you can see the bin has to be covered and then transported outside of the room and then the normal process of cleaning of the flexible endoscope takes place there's no difference to the otherwise cleaning process so in this case from now on the cleaning is a normal process what we can also do when we want to do the endoscopy and if we don't want to have the patient take down the mask we can also use that perforated mask that the patient has on and then do the whole process of squirting the lidocaine into the nose through that little hole and doing the endoscopy also through this little hole.